Watt SPA series is perfectly suited to coping with the electricity demand of private household as a good residential storage solution. Comparing with hybrid device, SPA need not to connect to the PV panels. Combined with battery, monitoring device, switches, the other PV generator and grid, it can help to maximize the self-consumption. SPA series can store energy provided by the grid or the other PV generator and discharge battery to meet the low demand when the electricity bill is high. And when grid power is blackout, it can be used as backup power. This is an effective supplement if you want to expand your on-grid device, regardless of the inverter brand you have. Here is the diagram of SPA system. This system includes original inverter, SPA, ATS, battery and sensor modules. There are three models in SPA series. In this video, we will have a brief introduction of inverter installation, commissioning and basic troubleshooting. The following is the recommended specification table of cable cross and length for different module. Before installation, the tools we need to prepare are listed below. Unpacking the package, take out the accessories and inverter. According to the accessories listed in the manual, check whether there is anything missing or not. Overview the device. We can learn about the main structure of inverter, LED of status display, OCD screen, function button, battery terminal, DIP for safety standard of different countries, dry contact, RS-485 to communicate with a third-party lithium battery, CAM port to communicate with Growall lithium battery, meter input terminal, NTC lead acid temperature sensor terminal, CT2 measure other inverter power, RJ45 interface of DRMs used only in Australia, CT1 measure grid power, Antenna USB for local firmware update RS-232 for communication accessories EPS output, off-grid connection Ground point AC grid, on-grid connection Follow the location requirement of the manual to install inverter in proper places It is suggested to install the inverter under the shelter Avoiding the direct sunlight and rain, the wall should be stable. Airtight cabinet is prohibited. SPA has an AC grid terminal and EPS output terminal. They have different appearances. Firstly, please confirm the L, N, P, E port of the connection terminal. Then thread cables through pressure screw Seal ring, threaded sleeve in sequence, insert cables into connection terminal according to polarities indicated on it and tighten the screws. Push and rotate the threaded sleeve on to connection terminal until both are locked tightly. Plug the socket into AC output terminal, clockwise rotation to tighten the socket, counterclockwise rotation to loosen the socket. The EPS terminal connection is the same as the on-grid terminal installation. Note 1. On-grid terminal and off-grid terminal can't directly connect together. 2. Off-grid terminal can't connect to grid. It has adopted a footproof process design. When we make the battery terminal connection, the suggested distance between battery and the SPA series is no longer than 1.5 meters and the power line area must be larger than 6 AWG. As they mentioned before, SPA has series communication terminals. In this video, we choose ATL6531 pack to storage the power. It has plug and play function. The connection with battery is simple. 
We just need to insert the positive and negative power lines and the communication line to the battery ports. Note that measure pack voltage with a multimeter and ensure of a dual battery system if the voltage difference is measured more than 1 volt. The difference shall be adjusted to be less than 1 volt either by charging the pack with lower voltage or discharging the pack with higher voltage before conducting the parallel connected installation. Our battery has one button shutdown function. Normally, we use one CT to measure the current through the firewire. One most important thing is to pay attention to the direction of sensor. As illustrated below, open the current transformer and you can see an arrow labeled on it indicating the direction of current. The direction of arrow of CT1 means from public grid to user load and the direction of arrow of CT2 means from public grid to inverter if the SPA and existing inverter are installed in combination. Take CT1 for example. We need to route the CT1 cable through an opening in the cable support sleeve. Thread the CT1 cable through the cable gland. Insert the RJ45 plug of the network cable into the CT1 pin connector on the inverter until it snaps into place. Note 1. We can change CT1 with meter, which provided by GrowWatt to monitor the system energy. 2. If you change CT1 with meter, please plug in RJ45 for meter into meter and set sensor as meter. For the meter's installation process, please refer to the SPH video. 3. We use CT1 to detect the current from grid to the load and use CT2 to detect the current from grid to inverter installed in combination with SPA. Growatt provides two cables whose length is 5 meters and 10 meters. Growatt also provides RJ45 connector so the total length can reach 15 meters. If the length is longer than 15 meters, it's better to choose the smart meter. When all the communication lines are installed, push the waterproof cover into the bottom, lock the screws fixed to the frame, and finally lock the waterproof cap. Note that for the communication cable connection. 1. The CAM battery communication and RS485 battery communication can't be installed at the same time. 2. If the cable such as RS485 cable or CAN cable is not used, please do not remove the filler plug from the cable support sleeve. Grounding connection SPA series must be grounded by cable. The grounding point is showed as follow, and the minimum grounding cable wire diameter is 10 AWG 5.26 square millimeters. In SPA system, EPS terminal can't connect to grid. If you want to use on-grid and off-grid together, you can use ATS, Automatic Transfer Switch device. For the detail of ATS installation, please refer to SPH video. SPA has a LED panel to display the status of the system and the button could be used to change the parameters of the inverter. After pressing and holding Enter button for 3 seconds, the inverter will enter setting mode. Press up or down button to select the setting programs. Electrify SPA series after all installation is finished. Here are the steps. Turn on AC first, then turn on battery. If grid and battery are available, the SPA would work on the normal mode. When the SPA work on the normal mode, the screen showing normal and the LED is green. 2. If SPA do not enter normal mode successfully, especially the LCD is red, you need to check below. Make sure all the connection is correct. All the external switches are on. Make sure the lithium battery is on. SPA can be used in different mode, load first, battery first, and grid first. For battery first and grid first mode, customer can set the timetable for it. 
through LCD can set one time period. The Growwatch Shine server can set three time periods each. From the LCD panel, we can change the mode manually, also including language, system time, LED asset cells charging voltage, default is 58 volts, discharge low voltage and so on. User can upgrade inverters firmware via the USB port by using a U-Disk. Please contact Rewar Service Support to get the upgrade files and extract into the U-Disk. Please note that don't modify the folder name or program file name. It may cause the upgrade failed. Unscrew the waterproof lid and insert U-Disk into the USB port. The upgrade will begin automatically. There is a troubleshooting suggestion in our user manual. If the inverter gives the fault information, you can refer to the list to repair it. Such as the warning message is 401. It refers to that the CT meter communication is wrong. You can check the wire connection and distance between the device. Then restart the machine. If there is something you cannot deal with, please contact Rowa Service Center. As for the monitoring set, please check the monitoring video. SPA system can work with Shine Link, Wi-Fi S, and GPRSS devices.